a disaster! Our line of children's choice is tanking! The Erico Platana styling head was a total failure! No one leaves this room until we have a new idea! There's... <clears throat> there's always that funny foosball table prototype. Yeah. Yeah. I love it! You are fired! Even our factory manager has better ideas, and he's a panda! We need something new, something different. Hmm? Hmm. And then I said, pass, pass! And I didn't know he was gonna pass, but then he made me a pass! What a day! Hmm. That's it! Platana footballs! High tech talking footballs that speak in Eriko's voice! Every kid will want one! Yeah! Bravo! Yay. Thank you. It was a team effort. Which reminds me. Everybody is fired! Lame. 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 You'd have to be a total moron to watch TV these days. Lame. Super lame. You there? I hate complaining by myself. Hang on, I'm drawing something for Mom. Hmm. hmm. The composition makes no sense. Your color choices are horrendous. And you've crossed over the lines here, here, and here. That's not very nice. You're gonna be tackled by things in life. This is how you improve. So, are you coming or what? Hey, you! Love football? Love Erico Platana? What if your favorite football player suddenly became your favorite toy? We're gonna have a ball together! Best friends, best friends forever! <laughs> With the Erico Platana talking football, you too can become a champion! Best friends, best friends forever! The Erico Platana football is always there for you! I don't wanna move out! We'll make a great team, you and me! Yeah! Best friends, best friends forever! What is this lousy toy? I never agreed to this! <laughs> oh, are you kidding me? No way I'm gonna let all those kids kick me around. Come on. It seems you're selling like hotcakes. Wait till my lawyers hear about this. Oops, sorry, Steven. Oh, no! I camped in front of the store for three days! There we go. I'll always be there for you. Phew. I thought I lost you. The greatest battles are won with the heart. Does that mean you're not angry anymore? Go hard or go home! Yay! Go home! <laughs> Junior, do you remember that time Daddy sat on your game console? Wow! Did you get me a new one? <gasps> Don't touch me! I'm super rich! Do you like it? It's, uh, talking football. It's all the rage with the kids. Daddy really broke the piggy bank on this one. <laughs> I'll let you guys get to know each other. Wow! Nice decor! Well, I'm out of here. Lame. 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 <laughs> Only a complete moron would watch TV these days. <laughs> Lame. 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 Oh no! I went over the lines again! To win, hmm? you need to think outside the box. You really think so? The greatest battles are won with the heart. I did it with my heart. We make a great team, you and me.
If you believe in yourself, the sky's the limit. Thanks, Eriko. You've been so nice lately. I've never felt so happy. The sky's the limit. Eriko. The sky's the limit. Eriko. El cielo es el limite. Seven doubts. Sona Gaigenko. that or I swapped him with a toy. Unless! No, he must be a toy. Or maybe! Erico! Now I found one of your action figures behind the couch. What is it? Isn't this a putrid marauder of chaos? No, that's an old piece of chewing gum. Huh, yeah, sorry. Ooh, I do love my dad, but sometimes, seriously. I know, right? Lame. Hey. What's up? Isn't that a putrid marauder of chaos? No one badmouths my dad except me. Hey, no one badmouths my dad except me. Mm. How do I take out your batteries? Uh, wait, what are you doing? It's me, your BFF. <laughs> oh. hmm? Hey, there's something wrong with your kid. What? Is Junior sick? Oh, I had to pick the Einstein family. They're as bad as each other. I won't let some toy talk smack about my son or his father. Dad, have uh. you seen my football? <laughs> no, 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 no. This ball is a bad influence. I'm taking it back to the store right this second. Yes! I hope we kept the receipt. Hmm. Ew. Come on, Pops! Let's go! I don't have all day! <laughs> Erico! Erico! It's scandalous! <sighs> Martin, we've got another defective ball. And it insulted my son. Hmm. Oh, freedom. Oh! I want to speak with my lawyer! Oh, I'm never going to find him. There's been a mistake. I'm not a toy. I'm not a toy. I'm not a toy. I am your best friend. <laughs> Here we go! Here we go? Where are you? Winning isn't everything. It's the if only you thing. Your own own team, team your dreams will come true. true. Uh -huh. I'm uh -huh. here. Open your eyes. This would be a whole lot easier if you were a bit more encouraging. It's like the ball pool. I mean, I like the ball pool. <laughs> but in fact, it's not like the ball pool. Less talking, more doing, Daniel. I've always believed in you. Hurry up! <laughs> Daniel, seriously! I can't do it if you criticize me all the time. If you listen to your heart, nothing is impossible. See? They all believe in me. They're all encouraging me. Because they're programmed to do that. But I say something, I don't sugarcoat it. But at least I mean it. Victory is at your feet. Why do you think I'm always on your back? It's because I know you can do it, Daniel. Welcome, Eriko. I prefer a friend who tells the truth. Add some more blue there. 
Well? Hmm. It's... Um... Uh, better. <laughs> hmm? Here, Mom! This is for you. Hmm? Aw, oh, thank you, sweetie. It's beautiful. <laughs> Oh, yeah, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's colorful. <laughs> Come on, Daniel! You're a wall! A bulldozer! Jump. <laughs> Sorry, Larry. I don't know my own strength. Stop that. Can't you see that he's faking it? You're heartless, Erico. Look at him. He may never walk again. Uh, why, Daniel? Why? Penalty. Huh? <laughs> Looks so real. How did you know he was faking it? Ah, oh, Daniel. It comes down to experience and technology. Ow! <clears throat> huh? Huh? Hmm? Ah, my leg! <gasps> the cheater! Now, Daniel, to become a pro, you have to know how to act. Start with the classics. Ancient plays, Italian drama, La Commedia dell'arte. The what? <clears throat> oh, anger. Oh, despair. Oh, age, my enemy. Whitened by the toil of battles, to witness in a day but withered laurels? Go, leave now the very least of men, pass into better hands, take my revenge. <laughs> <laughs> Than to take my life? Uh. <gasps> A what? I didn't even touch him. Even with gloves on, I wouldn't touch him. The grand finale, Daniel. Larry, <coughs> I forgive you. <coughs> Hang in there, Daniel. They're waiting for you at the ER. So, young man, you've got a big owie? Um, no! It's much better already, thanks! I think I'm good to go! Wow! <gasps> hey, take a deep breath for me. But I feel fine, I swear! Uh, very well, we're just going to do a few little extra tests. That's enough, Erico. Let's get out of here now! Are you kidding? If you can fake it here, you can fake it anywhere. That's amazing practice. How are you, sweetie? Mom? Doctor, is it serious? We don't know what's wrong yet, but we'll find out eventually. Be brave, baby. Mommy's here. Even if she hurts hospitals. Oh. <laughs> No time to lose. We're transferring him immediately to the Unknown Diseases Ward. But there's no reason to worry. We got you a fruit basket, but Stephen ate the papayas. Okay, guys. Let's leave Daniel in peace. 
Get well soon, little guy. Erico, I shouldn't be here. This has gone way too far. It's up to you, Daniel. Either you admit to lying to the doctors, to all your friends, your coach, your mom. <gasps> or we stay here for just a week or two and chow down on chocolate and passion fruit. Help. <laughs> Enjoy it while it lasts, kid. I've been here for years, and they still don't know what's wrong with my leg. Like me with this itching. Then again, it could be worse. Welcome to the Unknown Diseases Ward. Fruit Jelly? I know that guy. Daniel! Simon, Simon Bullock! The football superstar? The sham playing in my position? He's so classy. And so nice, too. Such lame hair. I heard all about your accident, Daniel. It's all over the news. Huge concern. Uh, that's really nice. But, you know, it's not that bad, in fact. Huge courage. I've decided to start a foundation to help you. The Daniel Foundation. Huge project. But isn't that the check you promised to save the planet? The planet can wait. The stakes here are just too, uh... Huge? <laughs> It's no use, Erico. I could never tell the truth in front of real sick people. I'm gonna stay in the hospital forever. In the hospital! Meh, it's not so bad here. <laughs> hey, kid, want some lychees? Hey, cool it over there, huh? Want a massage and my World Cup trophy while you're at it? <laughs> a World Cup? I know where I've seen that guy before. I played against him in the finals. I didn't even touch him, and I got a red card. It was the only World Cup I didn't win. Comedia dell'arte. He was faking it! He stole my cup! What? Faking an injury? The nerve of that guy! Hmm. Oh. Uh, no, it's not the same. Oh. Show's over. I'm going to tell everyone the truth. Faking is cheating! I wouldn't do that if I were you, kid. Wait, you're on your feet? It's a miracle! No, they're all faking. They were never sick in the first place. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> No one can ever know we're faking. Yeah, we like it here. We get three square meals a day and an afternoon stroll. We're not coming clean now. <laughs> Let me out of here! You're one of us now. If you speak, you'll be denouncing all of us. <laughs> hmm? <laughs> Comedia dell'arte. Ah! My wrist! Why? I'm just a kid! Oh, no! What have we done? Can't you see he's faking it? Comedia dell'arte. <laughs> you stole his trophy? He stole it from me first. An eye for an eye. Thank <laughs> you. 
Ah, my leg! Why? What have I ever done to you? <gasps> Goodbye, my beauty. No! My cup! That's disgraceful! <laughs> Thanks, Erico. You owe me a World Cup. <clears throat> we'll be having a very long talk about this, Daniel Sisu. Upon reconsideration, this check will go back to saving the planet. Well then, I've come to a big decision. To prevent any more faking, no more fouls will be given. But Maple, aren't you worried we'll descend into violence and barbarism? What a beautiful game. This case is really bugging me, Constable Bumble. No use getting a bee in your bonnet, my dear earwig. Hi, Mom. Oh, hey, sweetie. <gasps> Daniel, I asked you to vacuum the apartment. Oh, yeah. I got it out, but then I got caught up pretending it was an elephant. Uh, never mind. Brush your teeth, go to the bathroom, and then straight to bed, okay? Mom needs to rest her eyes for five minutes. <laughs> Elementary, my dear Earwig. The culprit was... Hey! They were about to reveal who did it! I bet it was Mrs. Ladybug. Shh! Mom is really tired when she gets home from work. Tired? Tired? From playing squirrel all day? Sorry, but that's not what I call a real job. Hey, I'll have you know Mom works really hard. And she also does the laundry, the shopping, the cleaning. Try being a world champion. Now that's a lot of work. Taking care of your skin, keeping your agent in line, taking selfies. You have no idea. You wouldn't last two hours in Mom's shoes. Oh, yeah. Daniel. There we go. It's five in the morning. Mom will be waking up soon. Not today, Daniel. Not today. You want plugged her alive? Today, you and I are going to play squirrel. What? But that's Mom's job. We can't do that. If your mom can do it, how hard can it be? Hey! What? Hmm, vacation. Cruise ship in the tropics, all inclusive. Well, maybe Mom could use a little time off. Okay then, Erico, but we've got to nail this. No way are we going to get Mom in any trouble. Don't worry. By day's end, everyone's going to respect Mr. Squirrel. <laughs> Some delicious chocolate cocoa squares. A balanced breakfast with vitamins B12, B14, and B17. Hey, what kind of hellhole is this? It's Mom's job. We need to sell all of these boxes of cereal, Erico. People pay to eat this? Yes, Erico. Because the secret to a balanced breakfast is delicious chocolate cocoa squares. <laughs> hey, this ain't so bad. <laughs> Erico, what are you doing? Hmm, you're right. What am I doing? This would taste a lot better with some milk. We're supposed to sell them, not eat them. I'm just having one last bowl. Hang on. They have toys inside? Yeah, but it's not for you, Erico. It's for the kids. Mosquito claw again. Man, it's clown tooth that I need. Hey, pass me another box there, Daniel. That was the last one, Erico. You've cleared the entire shelf. There are none left. Clown tooth. Don't do it. That's stealing. <laughs> A mosquito claw again. Mm. And boom. 
We get to go home early. Who's the man now? We got fired, Eriko. No, we didn't. We quit. Okay, whatever. Hurry up, Eriko. We can't be late for Mom's second job. Yeah, her what? An all-you-can-eat seafood buffet for free. You're the host with the most, Captain. Oh, Captain. Hammers, wrenches, nails. Don't miss our half-price sale. Daniel, remind me, what are we doing here again? It's Mom's second job. You have to point the arrow towards the hardware store to attract customers. Ugh. Who rocks mics till they bust and swell, Joe? It's just another fact of life for me, really. All around town, people trying to get down. Whoa! I love these guys. I don't know what they're selling, but I'll buy it pronto. Wow! They're good! Finally, a real challenge. <laughs> Daniel, I'll show you how to dance with an arrow. Okay, plan B. We get rid of the competition. But they're just doing their job. Boo! You call that dancing? What's up, you big chicken? You wanna dance? Come on, then. Come on! Eriko, no! Don't start trouble! What are you scared of? Of a big owl? And a weasel? Who rocks mics till they bust and swell, Joe? Did you see the thrashing we gave them? Eriko, they kicked our butt and we got fired. Yeah, well, frankly, your mom should thank us. Arrow twirler. What's up with that? I hope things go better at the next job. Wait, there's a next job? Oh, Captain. You're terrible. Look out! Iceberg dead ahead! Iceberg? Iceberg? Happy, Happy birthday! Party! <laughs> there, it's a snake. I wanted a tiger. Okay, who's next? I want a dinosaur! I want a pony! And here's a triangle. Okay, another snake. Snakes for everyone! Aww. Eriko, at least make an effort. They don't seem very happy. Ah, don't worry. We'll redeem ourselves with the cake. Hurry up, Daniel. We haven't got all day. We need to do a good job. It's Timmy's birthday. Yeah, well, Timmy will have other birthdays. And I'm tired. Happy birthday to you! Ah! Do you smell something burning? Ah! <laughs> it's all right, everybody! Ah! Okay, so playing squirrel's not so easy. We got fired again, and Mom's costume is ruined! Yeah, am I glad this day is finally over? Are you kidding? We still need to go cheer on the hockey team, sell tickets at the theme park, walk dogs, prune trees, clean the sewers, and drive this bus. And careful with the paint job. Fired! 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 <sighs> it's just you and me now, Christelle. If we want to get out of here, we gotta stick together. We'll need to find food. <gasps> oh, I can't feel my legs. Mom lost all of her jobs because of us. Empty? No clean clothes? And nobody vacuumed? I told you, Eriko. On top of her work, Mom also does the shopping, the cleaning, and the washing. <gasps> you mean she does all that by herself every day? Your mother is a saint, Daniel. But now she's gonna wake up to a filthy apartment. Mm -hmm. With no costume. Mm -hmm. And no job. Mm -hmm. Nah, I'm sure she'll manage. 
We gotta make this right, huh? Sorry, Christelle. I was just too thirsty. Yeah, oh. We did it, Daniel. We finally did it. Yeah, but there's still the shopping, the cleaning, and the laundry. <sighs> Okay, five minute break and then we'll go make breakfast. <sighs> okay. <sighs> oh, I slept so well. Oh no! I slept so well! Oh, it's okay. I'm not late. Wow! Thank you for doing the vacuuming, sweetie. Daniel sees your shoots. And he scores! Oh, nice jacuzzi. Does it come gold-plated? <laughs> okay, Hazelnuts, gather round. I've got some exciting news. Oh! Am I the new team captain? Captain! Daddy! Um, not quite, Stephen. The mayor's office is looking for a young athlete for their new billboard campaign. Who would like to help promote an active lifestyle? Hmm? No way, Daniel. I'm not gonna play ball in some public ad campaign. Did someone say, hmm? handsome athlete? Oh, and what's that? The new official pro league football? Crystal? Crystal? <laughs> How pretentious. Oh. 12 hand-sewn panels for extra precise trajectories. Micro-textured exterior for better ball control. Fully inflated on delivery. Oh. No one overshadows Platana. <laughs> What's the matter, Sisu? You think you're better than me with your beach ball? <laughs> now come on, Hazelnuts. Let's all be good sports. Yeah, with the duel and lasers and explosions! And snakes! Ooh! Stop. Violence is never the answer. But we can easily sort this out in a fair and fun way. On your mark, stars of the future! Boo! You said there'd be lasers! The first one to cross the finish line gets their face on the billboard! Hang on! Hmm? Wait for me! Uh, Steven? Yeah, that's me! Ah! You're covered in bugs! Oh, this? It's nothing special, just my old lucky football! They're more scared of you than you are of them. Hmm. Erico, we're gonna play together! Focus, Daniel! You have to win the head game first. Tackle your opponent's mind. Nice hairdo. Tell me, do they make those for football players? <laughs> you know, I always thought you were a decent player. A flute player! <laughs> Number 10. Hmm? More like zero! <laughs> ah, I made a lot of players cry. Okay, let's go. I'll psych out Crystal, you deal with Larry. Ah, Crystal! Neon color, huh? Classy. For a bowling ball! Ah, Larry. Nice sweatshirt. A real champion sweatshirt. I guess it's fair since you're our best striker. 
Hey, don't you ignore me! Do you know who I am? And our best defender, and our best goalie. Don't know what to say, huh? Ha! That's more like it. <laughs> you smell good, too. <laughs> Ready? <laughs> Set! over already? Larry and Daniel, I guess there's no choice. Get ready for the intermediate level course. <laughs> no one ties Platana. No one! Plan B, we bribe Larry and Crystal to let us win. Uh, isn't that cheating? Cheating, cheating. Let's not get carried away. There it go. Daniel. <laughs> Not to take away. <laughs> Fine, you win, Erico. Um, mm, mm, mm. handsome. <laughs> what are you doing here, Sisu? I've got a deal for you, Larry. Would you let me win if I gave you a cookie? No. All right, listen up. I need you to abandon the next race. Do we understand each other? What? Not enough for you? You know what tastes good with a cookie? A big glass of cold milk. Deal? Deal. One born every second. I'll just leave this here and see you out on the field. <laughs> hmm? On your mark, future stars. Boo! You said there'd be explosions. <laughs> yes, yeah, Steven, you can have another try. Ready, set. Cool, we had a deal! Well, I guess there's only one other way. What a race! <laughs> ah, too many bugs! Another tie? You're going to drive me nuts! I didn't want it to come to this, but I guess it's time for the advanced level course. Yeah! We have no choice, Daniel. Plan C. You attack me, and we blame Larry. You ready? What? Do it! Don't overthink it. I can't do it, Erico! I just can't! Come on, don't be shy. <laughs> no! I can't hurt my best friend! Daniel! Come back! Oh, man, that does it. Plan D, we eliminate Crystal. Yeah, too old. Too bald. Too classic. Oh, here we go. This guy's a real pro. Lying low before the final, huh? Sorry, kiddo, but you've already lost. No hard feelings. <laughs> You're a tough one, aren't you? You remind me of when I was starting out. I had a fluorescent period, too. We'll show them, old ball. That's what real friends do. They fight together to the end. You're just starting your career and bam. 
<laughs> you come up against me. I mean, I've never lost a game, ever. So a public ad campaign, <laughs> what do I care? Hey, that's right. I don't care. I finally understand, Eriko. I'm sorry. If you really want to win, I'm here for you. No. Wait, Daniel. I've changed my mind. I don't care about winning. Crystal needs this victory more than we do. Fee you. That's great. Now we can do the last race just for fun. Yeah, Daniel. I may have gone a tiny bit too far. <laughs> There'd be snakes. Wait! Wait! Mm -hmm. <laughs> Drop out of the race, Crystal! It's a matter of life or death! Drop out of the race, Larry! It's a matter of life or death! Let go of me, Sisu! Ready? Hmm. Hmm. Set. Get back to it. Uh, are you really okay, Eriko? No, oh, nasty beast. <laughs> Let's get back to it. Last time, Daniel, the last time. Whoa! Erico, what's that? This, Daniel, is 70 pounds of pure love. Fan mail is just the best. I remember when I used to write you lots of fan mail. <laughs> What? Next you'll expect me to read them? <laughs> ah, Daniel, Daniel, Daniel. Breaking news. Direct from Villa Platana, an incredible press conference is happening. What? That striking nose. That profile of a Greek god. That's me! <gasps> Mr. Platana, why these months of silence? Where have you been all this time? Do you prefer cereal or toast for breakfast? I have an announcement to make. I have decided to stop playing professional football. What? Who is this guy? I mean, he's gorgeous, but what's he talking about? He has your hair. He's in my villa! And your huge chin. Let's go, Daniel. We're gonna have a word with this phony. As soon as he opens the door, boom! You just go for it. Hello? I'm Daniel Sisu, Erico Platana's biggest fan. Hello, Daniel. It's a pleasure to meet you. Likewise. No, I mean, you're not the real Erico. You're an imposter! <gasps> I knew this day would come. You're right, Daniel. I'm not the real Erico. I'm a professional identity thief. Professional? Puh, get over yourself. I get plastic surgery to steal the identities of influential people so I can try to make the world a better place. A better place. Selling Erico's submarine let me open a foundation to save the bees. What? My submarine? 
You know that bees make honey, right? Yum. Honey. Selling his private island let me send books to thousands of children. Oh, no. My private island. Books for children. You know, Daniel, for these kids, books are like windows to the world through which they can escape. Escape. Oh, yeah. How am I supposed to escape without a submarine or a private island? But now that you've found me out, it's time to put an end to it all. It was a pleasure meeting you, Daniel. Here, a honeypot and a book for a little guy that's one of a kind. See you in another life. That's right, pretty boy. Don't let the door hit you on your way out! Wait! Mm hmm? What was that about? Sorry, Erico. I know it's hard to resist that ravishing smile, but there's only one Erico Platana, and that's me! But he's such a nice guy. Mr. Imposter, I wanted to tell you... Here you go, Daniel. I made you some hot chocolate. <laughs> tell me what you think of this free hugs project. What on earth is he doing? <laughs> <laughs> And if everyone opened their piggy banks, no one would be poor anymore. We're gonna start a bust out your piggy bank operation. This is absolute genius, Daniel. Ah, uh, it's no big deal. You know, Daniel, it's the no big deals that can change the world. Psst. Mr. Imposter, I really need to tell you something. One sec, Daniel. What are you doing? I just came up with the rhyme I was looking for. That should bring a smile to little Marion's face. Hmm. You're answering all of Eriko's fan mail? With rhymes? She sent me a poem. I couldn't just leave it without an answer. Ah. Uh. You won't believe this! Mr. Irresistible changed my whole dressing room! Ha! <laughs> this guy! Eriko, <laughs> I have to tell you! Ah! This turquoise does bring out the color of my eyes. <laughs> Erico, I don't want him to go. I told him to stay. What? I know he's not the real you, but he's nice to your fans. He's saving the world. And his hot chocolate is delicious. This guy is stealing my life, Daniel. But you don't need it right now. You're a bull. Huh. Okay, Daniel. I see whose side you're on. Now it's just you and me, you handsome sham. Combat drone, great white shark. Combat drone, great white shark. <laughs> How can you say no to those eyes? Huh? Hmm. Such a perfect body. You okay, Mr. Imposter? A great white shark. That's an endangered species. Poor thing. I'll call a marine biologist friend of mine. Erico, what have you done? I couldn't, Daniel. I love myself too much to hurt him. He wins. Huh? Erico? Stole everything from me! Dirty thief. Good looking, crook! Erico? Oh, you reek of pineapple juice! I thought you hated that. Oh, what do you care? I'll drink whatever I want. And the nicest guy of the year is... Erico Platana! You should be happy.
everyone is talking about you. You've even been nominated for a Nobel Peace Prize. Who cares? Some guy's sleeping in my bed and wearing my shirts. But the whole world loves you. You've never been so popular. It's not me they love. It's him. You know what, Daniel? He's a better Erico than I'll ever be. You were right, Daniel. Since we sent kittens to all the world leaders, wars are down by 43%. <sighs> if we add a ball of yarn, we could make that 50%. What's wrong, Daniel? I'm glad we're making the world a better place, but I think this is unfair to the real Erico. I understand. But think of all the things we've accomplished. I know, but the real Erico might be incredibly sad that you've stolen his identity and spent all his money. That's true. Even the best intentions don't excuse everything. It's your call, Daniel. Just say the word and we'll stop. It's time we gave Erico his life back. It's been a real pleasure, Daniel. I'll go get my bag. Erico, what are you doing? I'm come for my things. Erico Platana is finished. Don't worry, you can have your life back. I fixed everything. <laughs> no, you didn't. I did. Boom! No more Platana, no more anything. Oh no! Erico, what did you do? I called a combat drone. Boom! I'd rather blow everything up than let that very gorgeous phony touch my stuff. But he's gone now! You can have your villa, your name, and your life back! Huh? For real? He may be nicer and more patient than you, and more generous, and his hot chocolate is heavenly. Did you forget about the combat drone? Okay, okay. What I mean is that you too can become a better person. You just need the chance. <laughs> It's okay, Daniel. I'm fine. I guess this is where we part ways. Time for me to find a new face. Yeah, that's right! Good riddance! Beautiful back definition, though. And don't forget, Thomas, you don't need to win to know you're the best. Kind wishes, Erico Platana. Okay, we done? Just one more, Erico. It's for a certain Daniel. <laughs> <sighs> so what? So Bada Boom sees that it's getting late and that he has to go to work early tomorrow morning. <gasps> oh no! Bada Boom always does that just before bedtime. Heroes need their sleep too. Have you got Mr. Tickles? Mm-hmm. Your water? Mm-hmm. Your kiss? Mm-mm. Mm -mm. Good night, sweetie. A little more? A little less? That's it. Good night, Mom. A little more? Mm -hmm. A little less? Hey, that's not nice, Erico. Life isn't nice, Daniel. Aren't you tired of being such a baby? I am not a baby. You sleep in a onesie. They're very comfortable. How am I going to get my body back if you're still tied to your mother's apron strings? Let's talk about it tomorrow, okay, Erico? It's Betty by time. Ugh. <laughs>
Sorry, Daniel, but you leave me no choice. What? Erico? What am I doing outside? What's going on? It's time for you to become a man. That's what's going on. What? And there's nothing like a little wilderness experience to make a real man out of ya. You can't leave me out here in my pajamas. Real men don't need pants. But I don't have any food. Real men hunt for food. But you're eating my cereal. And I know it's hard to believe, but it's for your own good. You can do it. It's just you and me now, Mr. Tickles. We'll have to fend for ourselves until Mom gets home. But we'll never make it without food. It's like cereal for birds. Good thinking, Mr. Tickles! Almost! Yes! <laughs> now that's what I call a manly yell. That's a spirit, Daniel! <laughs> Don't move, Mr. Tickles! Hey! Come back here, you thief! So, what's on TV? TV! What are you, hard of hearing? I said, TV! Daniel! TV! Daniel! <laughs> that kid is never around when you need him. Okay. Try to look more appetizing, Mr. Tickles. That raccoon won't capture itself. Well done, Mr. Tickles. Hey, Daniel. Hmm? How do you turn on the TV? With the remote. How did you do it before? Lights. TV. Toilet. Ah, so that's why. Multiple traps. Nice work, Mr. Tickles. Now, huh? Daniel! Food! This is Mr. Tickles, and I'm Daniel. I'm sure we'll get along just fine. I have to do everything myself around here. <laughs> Carrots? No thanks. Green beans? Yeah, all right. Broccoli? Seriously? Ah, finally. Food. Daniel, what's up with this pizza? It's all cold and hard. Well, it's frozen, Erico. Oh, okay, Iron Chef. So what do I do with it? Well, put it in the oven. Ah. Uh -huh. In the bathroom? No, the kitchen. Are you sure you don't want me to help you, Erico? Ha! 
you help me? I'm a man, Daniel. Real men don't need help. Wow, what is that? This is Rascal, my new pal. He taught me to clean myself, to mark my territory, and now we're going hunting! It's Frozen Erico. You want me to help you, Erico? Who needs help? I'm a man. So, the oven. Come on, Platana. You're a superstar. Nobody needs to tell you what an oven is, right? That one. <laughs> Easy peasy. Daniel, Daniel, Daniel. What am I gonna do with you? <laughs> Oven! Oh no! Daniel! Ah! That kid is never around when you need him! Come on, Platana! Real men always manage on their own! Huh? Daniel! Daniel! Okay, all hmm? right. I can't cook. Or turn on a TV. Or a light. Or wash my clothes. Sort my trash. No, oh, or change a tire. It's good to know how to get by on your own, but knowing how to ask for help when you need it is important as well. I am so glad that you said that, Daniel. Because you're going to need some help to clean up the living room. Hmm? Us? Us? I'm just a ball, remember? Mm -hmm. Wow! Look, Erico! Rasko came back with friends to help! We're saved! Wait, are you sure? Okay, everyone! We've got to fix everything up before Mom gets home! There comes a time when a man must take responsibility for his actions. Or find someone else to take the fall. Eh? What? No, we can't do that to Rasko. No. No. To think that they forced the French window open with a plastic spade. You were so brave, sweetie. Pizza and cartoons tonight, okay? Mwah. We had no choice, Daniel. Sometimes a man has to cover his tracks. I think I'd rather stay a kid a bit longer, Erico. Door! Door! You have to turn the doorknob, Erico. Hang in there, buddy. I'm gonna get you out of there. I've got you a great lawyer. <laughs> Unfortunately, as no one is able to reach Mr. Platana, the award instead goes to Simon Bo 
Prolock! No, 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 no! This is... This is awesome. I'm giving every penny to charity. No, no, no! Don't worry, Eriko. I'm sure they'll give you your prize once you get your body back. Get my body back? Daniel, the sorcerer said that wouldn't happen until you became a pro footballer. Look! You can't even drink from a water bottle! <laughs> oh, forget it, Daniel. I just have to get used to being a ball for the rest of my life. Hmm. Best friend, football, sad. No. Hmm. Best friend, football, Sad, curse, sorcerer! Hmm. Oh. Support group for victims of sorcery. We have answers and fruitcake? Daniel, are you kidding me? Here we are! Hmm? This is a bad idea, Daniel. Let's go. Remember what we said about strangers offering cake. Anybody here? Go. Welcome to the group, kiddo. My name is Marvin Douglas. I was the greatest saxophone player of my generation. But then one day, I hit a bum note and the sorcerer turned me into a saxophone. Ambroisine Chenapier. I was a world famous clown. But then one day I made a bad joke and the sorcerer turned me into a clown shoe. Rashid Blutin. I used to make the world's best pizza until the day I changed the recipe. Then the sorcerer turned me into a pizza box. And all of you have a Daniel to train? Yeah. Oh, uh, Danielle? Daniel? Daniel? And Daniel! <laughs> no, I'm Damien. Really? I'm confused. I thought it was Daniel. Me too. <laughs> I'm just goofing around. I'm Daniel too! <laughs> <laughs> So, how's it going with your Daniels? Well, yesterday mine got his foot stuck in his ear. Oh! And this is when he wore a sweater for pants. Three days in a row. Mamma mia. Well, at least we'll laugh about it when we get our bodies back. <laughs> what? Did I say something funny? Are you serious? No one has ever got their body back. It's impossible. What? <laughs> <sighs> How are we meant to turn them into champions? Uh, face it, Platana, this curse is forever. Sorry, Eriko. There was a queue at the grocery store. I got you some prunes. They're your favorite. Oh, Daniel, after all these years, you'll know me inside and out. <laughs> <laughs> Wake up, Daniel! Sleep is for the week! Time to practice! Let's move it! <sighs> Come on! Pull up! One! <laughs> Two! What's up, Daniel? Nothing much, Daniel. It's just that Eriko made me practice all night. Your ball is still training you, Daniel? Oh, uh, yeah, Daniel. Why? Lucky you, Daniel. Rashid gave up on me ages ago. You too, Daniel? Yes, just like Danielle and Daniel. <laughs> okay, so at the current rate of two pull-ups a night, he'll be ready in... Uh, carry the two... 80 years?! <gasps> I knew it! I'm gonna be a ball for the rest of my life! I think he's ready, friends. 
So, in theory, each of us will have our curse lifted once our Daniel becomes a champion in his or her own field. I know, I know, fat chance. But what if the Daniels were to... Disappear. No more Daniel, no more curse. Ah, uh, wait a minute. You're not talking about taking out our Daniels, are you? That's, uh, uh, no. <laughs> No, of course not. No, no, no. We'll just bury them in concrete in the empty swimming pool out back. I say what? We've already rented the concrete mixer. No mess, no fuss. By tomorrow morning, it'll all be over. This is our only chance to get our bodies back. Ah, it's not that I don't want to, but, um, I mean, they're not dumb enough to fall for it, right? Party in the empty pool. Yeah! Bye, Daniel! Bye, Daniel! Bye, Daniel! Bye, Daniels! See you tomorrow. <laughs> you sure you're okay, Erico? Yes, Daniel, everything's fine. And you're sure I can have all the ice cream? And a TV remote? Yes, Daniel. Have whatever you want. Take every last spoonful of ice cream. Sorry, I've got something in my eye. <laughs> Aren't you coming in, Erico? <laughs> uh, later, Daniel. Later. Erico, I know that the curse is bothering you at the moment, and that's why you're acting so strange. But I promise to do my best to save you. Best friends forever? Pete! Uh, uh, don't say that, Daniel. Why do you always have to be so... No! Oh, Daniel, it's a trap! Huh? <sighs> Sorry, guys. I can't do it. Sure, the Daniels may be hopeless. They're clumsy and often useless. And they make that weird noise when they sleep. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's the one. So even if they drive us nuts, don't they make us laugh, too? <coughs> and when they let us down, aren't they teaching us to persevere? With time, will, and courage, we can do this. They can do this. Daniel, Danielle, Daniel, and Daniel. I believe in you. We believe in you. Right, guys? Yeah. Guys? Guys? Wait! I've changed my mind! <laughs> Erico, what's that red button on the truck? The emergency stop. If we can hit it, we'll be saved. Daniel, you've got to inbound me. Go on, throw me. Huh? I don't know, Erico. I don't think I can. He'll never make it. It's too far. He's only a Daniel. You can do it, Daniel. Remember, you did two pull-ups yesterday. No, Daniel. Try again. I believe in you. So we're gonna have to go back to training them again? I'll go get the ladder. Goodbye, Daniel. See you, Daniel. Daniel. Bye. Bye. See, Erico? There's no need to worry. If we work as a team, 
You'll have your body back in no time! Uh, yeah, if you say so. I'm sorry we never managed to get your body back, Eriko. Even after 67 years. Oh, it's not so bad, Daniel. It's still been a pretty cool life, and we've got each other. No practice today. Aww. That stupid rain! <laughs> Why? Do something! We can't be stopped! We can't be stopped by a tiny... A tiny bit of rain, right? Wait! <clears throat> Every year is the same thing. Every year the roof leaks, and as a result, Maple calls off practice. Yeah, just like every year. That's right. But this time, we're going to raise money to fix the roof! Ha! Uh, we already tried that last year with calendars, but we only sold five. Aww. Well, maybe. But this year, we might find another idea. We're going to record an album! Yay! Hmm. That's not a bad idea. We're gonna record the Hazelnut album. Not to brag, but I know a thing or two about music. All right, auditions in five minutes. Yay! Next. I can't, I can't, I can't! What's wrong, Daniel? Stage fright? I can't sing in front of people. My voice, it's really bad. No, it can't be that bad. Go on, sing something. <gasps> Stop! Okay, it is that bad. I told you so. I'm gonna ruin the album. <laughs> Don't worry, little buddy. I know what to do. I'll sing. You can lip sync. Oh, yeah! How could I have forgotten that you're also a great singer? I even have your album. Yep, they're collector's albums, you know. I, uh, only sold five. Ah. I was too far ahead of my time, but that's about to change. A real artist can feel these things. Whenever you're ready, Daniel. Just a sec. <gasps> <laughs> that was beautiful, Daniel. Beautiful. It's the miracle I've been waiting for, for so long. I wasn't always a football coach. There was a time when I sang to stop pollution, to stop us going to war. I was a rising star in world music. That was a long time ago. But your voice, Daniel, your voice is a gift from above. With it, we won't be just saving the gym. We'll be saving the world. I go, my go. Get ready, hazelnuts. Things are about to go platinum. <laughs> and that's a wrap. Great work, hazelnuts. But we didn't even sing. Mm. Our turn now, Daniel. Time is money and we don't have any. <laughs> Stop! Great job, Daniel. It's really moving, but you're lagging just a bit. Oh, uh, sorry. Lagging? It's his music that's ahead. No biggie. Let's take it from the top. And go, Daniel! Stop! 
You're really not far off, but I think you can do better. Hey, who does he think he is, Mozart? No one tells Platon how to sing. No one. Erica, wait! Uh, take five. Calm down, Erico. Maple is demanding, but it's for the sake of the album. I'm a high-performance sports car, okay? When you lift the hood, you wear gloves. You know, I get it if you're afraid to fail. Fail? In your dreams. Come on, let's go back in there. Stop! You're singing in B-flat there, Daniel. I need you to give it 200%. What? I will show you 200%. That's the one. Now I know it, Daniel. Your voice is the real thing. Let me tell you a story. After my first album, which went triple platinum, I went off in search of a new sound. I was looking for the note of pure love. Mother Nature's heartfelt call. It was in that forgotten monastery that I found it. The Forbidden Octave. Forbidden Octave I used the score from my album. I thought I was good enough to sing it, but I was wrong. Failed, Daniel. But you can do it. I truly believe you can reach the forbidden octave and change the world. <laughs> Finally, a challenge worthy of me. <laughs> Destiny is to be the greatest footballer and the greatest singer. That's not what I said at all. Thanks, Daniel. I believe in me, too. Don't do it, Erico. Look, the notes on this scroll form the shape of a skull. Look, it's smiling at me. Okay, Daniel. You ready? Ready. Maple? I don't know if I can reach the Forbidden Octave. No pressure, Daniel. It's just the future of humanity, after all. <laughs> okay, here we go. Mr. Monks, please make sure that Erico doesn't hurt himself singing. <laughs> now! Sorry, Erico, but I had to stop you. What? My ears are still ringing. I can't hear. Oh, let me guess. You're apologizing for ruining my album with your terrible voice. <laughs> <laughs> we heard your call, my child. Oh, dang it. We're too late. You, Butchin, you stole our sacred song for your own glory. It's true. Wrapped up in my pride, I forgot the true meaning of music. I put you through unreasonable risk, Daniel. 
What have I become? I should have listened to you, Daniel. I'm sorry, Daniel! <laughs> Please, take this. It belongs to you, Mr. Monks. You are wise beyond your years, duck-voiced child. Forbidden Octave! No kids, no way around it. I have to apologize. It's all my fault that the album flopped. Aww. Wait! It's true that our CD is lame, but it must be good for something. Hmm. Great idea, Daniel! It doesn't look like you'll be making a singing comeback, Erico. Don't worry, Daniel. I learned something much more important today. That my first album was already perfect!